Pickle is one of the greatest characters ever introduced to the Bucky series, and still to this day is one of the strongest. With this recently revealed new design, he is an antagonist that outside of Yudro has maintained relevance in the series for the longest. His introduction to the manga occurred in 2008, 15 years ago. You could even say to this day, he has not been fully defeated in the sense of being knocked out or killed, even though he probably would have if he didn't run away from Masashi Miyamoto. However, we also have strategy that comes with Pickle as well, as I'll break down soon. So welcome, today I'm giving Pickle the respect he deserves with various important information to break down. I hope you enjoy. There's an argument to be made that the impact Pickle had on Red 2 is actually what resulted in his destructive nature, which eventually resulted in his downfall, taking his leg a critical part of the Chinese Kempo Master, leading into Retsu to try out boxing. Quite the wacky arc that as a whole probably didn't increase Retsu's abilities that much, or at least for what we got to see after that, which wasn't much. Retsu got the biggest buff in power after being trained by Kaku Kaio, but still that wasn't enough. Pickle, in my opinion, led to Retsu changing and a downfall for him. You could say he was never the same mentally and of course physically after facing this monster. However, for Katsumi, who also lost a limb in this battle, but also Pickle allowed him to pretty much unleash his true potential, break through a barrier that had Katsumi stuck in the series for quite some time. This was actually pointed out at the start of the Pickle arc, in the whole scene of Yudro talking shit to Katsumi, which eventually led to his rise and him performing insanely well with of course his crazy techniques that he was able to gain due to training with Kaku and of course Retsu's help as well. Funny enough, Katsumi vs Pickle was actually the last time we saw Katsumi go all out in a fight, and this happened as I mentioned in around 2009 when it comes to the release of this fight. Since then we've seen Katsumi have a sparring match with Goki when he had one arm, and then of course he gained Retsu's arm in Bucky Dao 2018. Lost his sumo match due to him giving up for the obvious reason of not wanting to kill his opponent as he probably would have if he went all in in that fight. Not really having a full understanding of his new power and that's all we've really got from Katsumi since the Pickle fight which isn't much at all. Now if we consider Pickle's recent return, maybe Pickle having a rematch with Katsumi rather than Jack is something that may make more sense as I'll explain something soon. Katsumi has beef with Pickle, he literally took his arm and Pickle led to the downfall of Retsu which resulted in him dying and now Katsumi is pushing forward the legacy of Retsu and himself so fighting Pickle again is something that will definitely be insane as his first fight with him was still one of the best in that entire arc. But why do I think him fighting Katsumi makes more sense? When it comes to Jack, he faced, you know, crushing defeats in one of the most wild fights in the entire series and may still be my favourite of all time. But the thing is, at every point after that fight, outside of course the Masashi arc where Jack just got taller after facing Pickle, he claims the reason for the development of his martial art, the Gao Dao that I broke down in this video, was due to Motobe destroying all of his teeth, not the insane beating he received from Pickle. And so far, Jack has not mentioned Pickle once since his return, which is a little wacky. However, of course, we did get that chapter with the return of Pickle, his new buffed up design, with Motobe saying the following about Jack and Pickle. When it comes to purity, you can take any person in the world and it's still no mean feat to overtake Jack, with Gaia questioning any person in the world, what about Pickle? And then Motobe says this, Well, he does count as part of humanity, but he's a special case. The question is, what did Motobe mean by this? This is pretty much connecting to who Pickle is. He's pretty much a wild beast, a hunter, which could be argued as the purest form of fighting. He fights for the sake of food, the sake of living, 
very different to pretty much all the other Bucky characters. So when he's talking about purity of battle, as Jack is willing to do anything to gain strength, steroid, sussy activities, anything for the sake of power, Pickle has his power for the sake of living. That's why he's a special case. And that's why we're without a doubt going to get Jack and Pickle clashing again. This is where we're going to have Jack, of course, mention all this. But I broke this all down in this video going over the future of Pickle. Bucky's exchanges with Pickle have been fairly interesting. The first time they met, he got jumped by Pickle off guard and one shot. The second time in their climactic battle, Bucky demonstrated the dominance of his martial art and how he's just outright a better fighter. But in the end, he tried facing Pickle in raw strength and got defeated with Pickle actually using a technique, something he had already done prior in that arc as well. So Pickle, yes, is capable of using techniques and you could say defeated Baki as this is the final panel to fight. However, on that note, we have a whole exchange between Yudro and Oliver with them fighting about which one technically won, Baki or Pickle, with Yudro being on Baki's side and Oliver being on Pickle's side. And of course, Yudro beat Oliver, meaning Yudro has to be right. That's just how it goes in Baki. The world has changed. And then during the Yudro and Bucky fight, Pickle actually pulled up wanting to be part of it. Pretty much every other fighter in the series is watching it being stunned. And then Pickle's like, oh yeah, let me join, has a smile on his face, wants to have some fun. And then after getting, you know, hit by Bucky, the rage induced Bucky, he realized right away that, yeah, this fight's not for me. Let these, you know, two go at it. I will watch here. And then you got to see the sight of Yuchiro Hanra as well, where he was kind of freaking out. Something that we don't know the true meaning of, but it's either Yuchiro is so strong that Pickle's scared for his life, or perhaps it's just Yuchiro appearing in his ghost-like form is too wacky for Pickle to really register and is just losing his mind looking at it. Well, pretty much everyone was losing their mind considering the insanity of that moment. Therefore, for Baki, he definitely allowed the Hanma to get stronger and Baki still to this day greatly respects Pickle. With a quick reminder that during the arc in his preparation for fighting Pickle, his imagination of Pickle was so strong that he thought Pickle could be stronger than the likes of Yudro, which is our next point. During their clash at the start of the Pickle arc, Pickle demonstrated that he had superior raw strength because he forced Yudro to use a technique. There's arguments to say that later Yudros got physically stronger and there are arguments for, you know, putting Yudro above Pickle. But I think it's more fair to say, and honestly more honest to say, that when it comes to raw physical power, lifting strength, whatever you want to say, Pickle is still the top dog in the verse. I think most people can agree with that. It doesn't mean he stands a chance against Yudro, but it's something we definitely have to give to him. And then something for sure is that Yudro respects Pickle to a great degree, whether it be due to Pickle deciding to hunt dinosaurs for his food during his time, or just Pickle's strength as well. As I mentioned before, when Pickle actually pulled up when he was facing his son, Yudro was interested in actually fighting him, pretty much ignoring Bucky for that moment, literally claiming, I thought about this over and over again. Which begs the question of why Yudro just hasn't had an all out fight with Pickle if he wants to face him. Very strange that we've never got that. Perhaps with Pickle's new design reveal and of course Yudro being buffer than ever before as well. We could actually get that in the future of the story. Subscribe because I'll definitely be talking about it. And then the last guy we need to talk about is Masashi Miyamoto. The guy who pretty much beat up Pickle worse than anyone else in the series. However, to be fair, Masashi Miyamoto was using his sword, even though there's arguments to say that Masashi without his sword is the superior version. I would like to say when it comes to cutting power, Masashi with a sword is more lethal in that regard. It just makes more sense, however, there's of course arguments that the peak of Masashi is his swordless style, which has various things backing it up. Is that more lethal? We don't know. It's just a stronger version of Masashi, that's for sure. During the fight, Pickle was able to land this blow that actually dropped Masashi on the ground, and also this bite taking out his shoulder, revealing his transformation like he did against Baki, and demonstrating his insane healing ability from the wounds. 
Highlighting once again the simple fact that Pickle is a character that is the definition of built different, even within the Baki series, and then even in the end when he ran away from Masashi, this was due to of course him no longer wanting to eat him and viewing Masashi as this scary looking bug. As we know, Pickle's history with certain bugs isn't the best due to some childhood trauma, which means it's very possible if Musashi wasn't fighting the way he was, he was using his solo style, the fight could have gone on much longer and maybe Pickle could have landed some monstrous attack as he has the power to drop him as we already saw previously. So still, give respect to Pickle, his raw strength is off the charts, his durability is crazy, even though he received the insane beating from Baki, he was never fully knocked out. All these slices from Musashi, he was still not dropped. He was bleeding everywhere, but he was still able to run away. And now Pickle has more to reveal with what he's been doing over these many years of not seeing him. So very exciting stuff. So since you guys have been watching this video until this point, I'll give you one secret about Pickle. People have done some calculations about his specific body part that comes out to the following size on screen now. Thank you for joining me in being cursed. And that's the video about Pickle. Shout out to these mad lads, the members. You can become one as well by of course becoming a member, getting these various benefits and access to these various videos. More on the works. And of course, thanks for watching. That's it guys. Peace.